What good, everybody? Your boy, Pure Hollow 89. Back at it again, once again, time and time again. Welcome to another episode of the Hollow Podcast, where we talk about everything streaming-related, gaming-related, big or small, and we give our opinion. Tonight, today's show, it's a little bit more of a holy crap moment, so to give you some backstory, we'll go right into the details of this, and I'll share my thoughts. So let's begin. What good guys? How we doing? So today topic It's about Call of Duty and God of War. So let me explain the whole thing before you say anything on the lines. So here's what went down. Third day Thursday night. December 7th with the game Choice Award. It was live. I went, okay, cool, cool. I caught it a little bit. And, and I saw some good trailers. Good game, new DLC, and stuff like Okay, I'm definitely digging that. I'm definitely digging that. But the. Here's where the punchline. Here's where the drama, here, here's where the happy puppy pot comes in. So the the voice actor of Kratos, Chris Judd, did the award. Before he did that, he made, he said his little <laughs> intro and made them good uh, a joke. The joke, he would stick it to his script, not going to be a eight minute long, eight minute long speech, which was cool, but he did throw a little jab, if you will, at the joke. Fun fact, and this is his word, and I quote, fun fact, my speech, my eight minute speech, Long, my eight minute speech is longer than Call of Duty camp, the new Call of Duty campaign. And, and, and everyone laughed, it's like, right? But except for Activision, they got a little defensive about that joke. He's like, what? Like, what the heck? It's like, come on. If I pronounce, uh, hold on. I'm gonna make it sure I get. Oh, man. And this, the joke was actually pretty funny. It's like, I knew it would. And Call of Duty got mad about it. It's like, they're these mad. Hate speech and all that, tweets and all that. Like, dude, it was a freaking joke. Which I found that joke was hilarious. It's like, damn. <laughs> no lie, I found that joke to be hilarious. And I will never. And I find it still think that joke is hilarious because a and not it was in good fun. It was in all in good fun. B 
wrong about it. Hey, damn. Take the... Take it easy, Activision. Pump the hate breaks. Yeah, and then he started to go a little heavy on the hate beat. Like, dude, come on. It's a joke. It's like, come on. It's like, seriously. All you need... All ad, here's what I think Activision should do. Number one, don't take it thing seriously. Sorry, I'm getting. I got around my eyes. Number one, stop taking things so seriously. It's a joke. Understand the joke, realize the joke. Except the joke. Number two. Maybe if you would have paid attention to your consumers. Maybe this would have been avoided. Like, come on, man. Like, seriously. If I was to... It was all I got. I think it was a good joke. Cause I felt I recognized the joke and understand the content of the joke. And it's I see it. I got a good kick out of it, and I even did this because it was a that night little. Bird joke is like right at activism. Like, damn, I felt that. Now, all the joke, all funny side. Activision need to turn off the jets, think before reacting. It's like, if it, here's what I think it should activate to do. Oh, he just told the joke. Okay, let's. All right, I'll get back to work. Like, get a good ch a few chuckles in, and like get back to work. Keep, maybe we do, and or, oh, he told a joke, but based on the real fact. Okay, we need to start listening to our consumers, and our players. That would have definitely been a lot more easy. Real ca no cap. Oh, yo, Uchiha, thank you for the alert. Get the dubs. Yo, okay, so, next thing on the docket. There has been some really crazy stuff that posted on the, tr on the Twitch page. And I were I've been concerned. A lot of content creators that I've seen on Twitter is very concerned. Like, like what in the world is going on? Like, it's the. I honestly feel like what is Twitch is doing. And I'm not being mean about it, like, like, uh, what are you doing, Twitch? I feel like it was a little bit of a uncomfortable thing going on, I don't, if you guys can see what I'm talking, if you guys been on tw Twitch and Browsing pains that you see there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then I don't even need to go any further. It's just like, wow. Just crazy to me. How that could be going on. 
and yet, and not even fixing most of the issues. But uh, what can we do? I don't think we can do much. <sighs> Solely based on the fact. Not a whole lot of things we can do. Maybe it was, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. But. Yo, what's up? Going on, what's going on? How's it been? I'm good, I'm good. Jeez. That crazy stuff happening is <laughs> hmm. Oh. What can we do? Hmm. All I'm going to say is there's a lot of things that need to be dialed back a bit so we can all live in <laughs> peace with all, everything. But cheap. Who knows? Mm, man, oh man. Hmm. But overall, I would say that we could definitely get things a little chilled. But hopefully, we could get more things straightened out. But alright, guys, that would be it for this episode of the podcast. I will be. be I will catch you guys tomorrow night, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.